Warning, the following video contains language, gore, violence, and various other mature themes. If you are squeamish or do not otherwise enjoy content such as this, turn away now. You have been warned. In the last episode of The Cat Lady. You were not supposed to be here! And so we continue. Uh, alright. So, uh, there's gotta be something in here. One, two, three, four, five. Five numbers. Five handprints. Two right hand, one left, one, two right. Is that it? There are bloody handprints all over it. Hmm. Two right hand prints, a left and a right again. Right, right, left, right. 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 Left. Right. And then the last one was a right. Oh god! No. 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 No! This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. Dude. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Joe! I'm... I'm sorry. God. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! Uh, dude, this is your monster, man. Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. You're with her? I should have guessed. I can't trust you. You're better off dead. Yeah. I'll be back. Are you alright, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. What the hell was that? I... Something strange happened. Maybe I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, let's... Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? Cauliflower. What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. So, did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me, was it... Carrot. Nope. Uh, I'll appeal to her ego. Yes. A carrot. That's amazing. How did you know? That's the secret. I can't tell you that, Mrs. A. Or else it wouldn't be a magic trick anymore. Yay, it works every time. Okay, okay. Don't get too big-headed now. Sure, but... I am the greatest! <laughs> Yeah. Nick, I only said it was carrot to be nice. In fact, I thought about celery. No, I didn't. I, I said going cauliflower. To say, but you leave me no choice. Yeah, right. Yes. Now, let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. God. Well, that 
completely fucked with my mind. All right, so that's my flat. It's all up here now. Pram, can I take do something with this? Nothing to unscrew here. How odd. I still have it, even though I found it in what I can only describe as a bad dream. Well, I mean, you know, in Downfall, we did bring that crowbar or whatever it was back from the dream world. Apparently, we're not going there without a good reason. I'm sure we'll find it sooner or later. Oh, I know what I can do. With the screwdriver. Enter. Where's that? That thing right there. Um, no. The screwdriver is used to open. You can easily pry it open with this screwdriver. Done. I can pick up the tin now. Open. Uh, um, take. Cool. Talk so, to me, Mitzi. What next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail. There's a mailbox in the hall. Awesome. Let's go check the mail. Get it? Check the mail. All right. Um, no. The you pick locks. Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A little room for the master locksmith. Right, because apparently you really? can't Could work. Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Sure, sure. Oh. Master criminal, if anything. Are you complaining? She's helping you out here. I mean, you're helping her out. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Alright. Um, letter to Pauline. Letter to Joe. It's addressed to Pauline Summer. She's a young mother who lives in flat 8. Not here. She'll be back in a minute. We'll be caught red-handed. All right, let's go back to my flat where I might find scissors because every good flat owner has a pair of skizzers. But the I can't go in my... All right, well then, let's go down to the basement. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try, but I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Cool, there's that one. And a letter to Joe. It's addressed to Joe Davis. He lives opposite me in flat three. It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. I know him. It appears he's Joe's shrink. Apparently Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Oh well. Looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. More so, I'm I'm betting. Or worse. Who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. Alright. Knock. Coming. Right. Step back. I'll handle this. It's all you, Mitzi. It's all you. Oh. Hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. Are you okay? Maybe. 
But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um, how are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. Oh, I'm Mrs. Ath Ashworth's lodger. Mrs. A works for the agency. She's here to assess me. Uh, tell her the truth. You don't want to lie about everything, because then you can't keep your story straight later. The idea, the key to a good lie, is to lace it with enough truth. Oh, I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. She kindly offered me a room, and we've been living together for the last couple of weeks. I mentioned to her I was looking for a job. My parents pay for the room and school fees, but I could do with some extra spending money. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. My mother always says you have to get your hands dirty to learn something properly. Not that you get dirty hands looking after babies. Just m metaphorically speaking. Doing good. Well, it can get dirty. I hope you understand the job it involves changing nappies, too. Yes, of course. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. I could really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes, well, you'll... Okay... Suck it up. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. Tiny That's bicycle. A nice flat. I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. She's got one of those little toys you always see at the dentist office. Or doctor's How the office. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just... Play it by ear, yeah? Uh, terrific. Because of that toy right there, Pauline is officially the coolest person in this game. They're mostly photos of a baby. There are a couple of Pauline and her ex. His face missing on each one of them. If she wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Is that an Irish accent I detect? I love Irish accents. Uh, yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Not really, but I'm a fast learner. Uh, you know what? This one you should lie about. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. 
Oh. Um. Let's let's find out about you. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Uh, there just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Alyssa and I. Uh, Who's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. Fair enough. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's alright, but I just don't like talking about it. I'm sure you'll understand. Uh, yep. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I, yes, definitely. But I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. Doorknobs. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... Stroked a filthy looking dog, volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Hugged a homeless man outside this house. Aww. Might have forgot to wash hands after using the toilet. I'm just a bad cold, still sneezing a lot. I hugged a homeless man outside this house. Oh. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. <laughs> I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Look at that! Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously. Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Uh, let's get get start curly over this side on the bill. I totally forgot how to sentence. It's a big TV. Uh, do I need to go that way? No. Wait. What? What? They're not in the bathroom yet. Sounds like Mitch is telling her some fake stories about her childhood. Maybe I can quickly. I keep skipping things. Maybe I can quickly check that room later if she eventually starts washing her hands. Hard to look at those. Bookcase. Nothing useful here, just books, 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 and a few toys. A few awesome toys. Her kitchen looks sparkling clean. Most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also some guy on a few of them. But his face seems to be cut out on every single picture he appears on. Odd. Who this? You're from the agency. Hello. 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 Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. <laughs> Come in, please. Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. Come back later. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. Uh, well, she's just here for a job. We don't need to be rude about it. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. 
Rita Tickle. Her name is Rita Tickle. That was a name that they came up with. Oh, man. After a lot of tequila. It's Pauline's laptop. I don't know enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. Look at the photos. Lots of photos. <laughs> yep, I already read that thing. Scissors! Um, wait, what? Oh, the dark secrets we all keep from the world. I'm stealing these stupid one, leaving the baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. Yeah, that's very irresponsible. But then again, so is leaving a baby on the bed. I mean, really. I can hear the water running. I must hurry. They could be out any second now. I don't know what you want me to do. I don't know what you want me to do. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! Uh... That one. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Um, do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I, I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Yeah, play it up. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... <laughs> Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. That's why you should never hug hobos. <laughs> uh -huh. They just need love too. Rita, piss off. It's you. Again. Hello. Is this flight number eight? My name is Rita Tickle. From the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? No. Piss. Off. Look, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I can't help you. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? No, not anymore. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioral psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great. Wow. But I don't need your services. You don't need a nanny. No. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <laughs> <sighs> You're an evil person. Yes. You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Yes, I will. Yeah. I'm evil. But you're thick. I... Oh. Was that a fat joke? <laughs> 